From everyone here at 2K, thanks for joining us. We've got a Wednesday afternoon edition of the NBA for you. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce with us on the sidelines. And the starting lineup for Miami. They've got Russell Westbrook. He's out there with Jackson. And it's James in at the three. And for Charlotte, it's Miller and Bridges teaming up at the forward spot. Trey Mann out there with the mellow ball. And it's Williams in at the five. Here we go. Tip-off goes to the Hornets. James with a steal. Here's Chamberlain. The shot's good on the assist by James. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Ball outside. Bridges outside. Back to ball. Here's the three. Connects from downtown. The defense must honor Ball's three-point shot. He's more than ready to snipe away if you give him the opportunity to do so. Here's Westbrook. The rebound by Bridges. Miller against James. Here's Williams. Pass to man. Three-pointer. James with the rebound. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Hornets. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Here's Ball. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Ball's got five now. Big ups to this coaching staff. Great play design there. Here's Westbrook. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. Just by nature of his style, Westbrook is going to draw contact. So he's got to be strong enough and focused enough to play through it. And he is and does. And here's Charlotte now. Man with it. Pass the ball. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It goes on Russell Westbrook. Man, the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And so he hits both. It's hard to question the energy LaMelo Ball brings to the court every night, Clark. It certainly is, and it's contagious, B.A. That's what I like about it. He elevates other guys. As a teammate playing with LaMelo, he elevates your energy level because you've got to match it. He gives the team, I think, a nice edge in being able to perform on a consistent basis. Yeah, I like whenever Miller uses his size to his advantage, especially down near the rim. The shot is good by Westbrook. He does not lack for confidence, and he shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous score. It's deflected. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Charlotte on top. They're up by three. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Please turn your attention to center court. Mellow ball, a strong contribution so far in this one. Yeah, even with the extra attention he's getting from the defenders, he's finding ways to excel. Well, we're not surprised by that. No more than what we've come to expect of him. He can adapt and adjust to anything a defense tries to throw at. Setting the floor for Miami. Jackson out there with Russell Westbrook. Then there's LeBron James. And it's Chamberlain in at the pivot spot, batting the middle. Basket counts. Yep, on the interior, Wilt's enormous size. Just too much to overcome, and certainly something that can't be taught. 35 seconds left in the second half. Bridges outside. Westbrook against Ball. Takes the three. James with the rebound. There's 14 seconds left here in the second half. Offensive board to the wing on the left. 
Chamberlain passes to Jackson. For the lead, out to James. Four on the clock. Oh, a big time jam! Slams it right over Williams. Well, they're having major trouble dealing with LeBron. And it's Charles Lee calling timeout here. And a great call on his part. This is the time you want to be in sync right here. Pass the ball. Back to Miller. Williams with the screen. Miller with it. He's picked up by Westbrook. Man, what a well-coordinated athlete. His size. To add that superior timing hard to get shots over Will Chamberlain. Ball against Westbrook. And it's in. So tough to stop Westbrook right now. And we've got a timeout call by Charles Lee. Great time to call his guys into the huddle at a very tense moment in this game. All right, guys, how do you see him managing the next possession? It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. And we call those ATO or plays run after a timeout. They often make the difference in the game. Seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. All passes to Bridges. Here's Ball. Beyond the arc. The three won't fall. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. Sure. It's not over. Clock. Is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. So the first one drops, and that'll put them up two. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a three-point game. Delivering exactly what they needed from the line. He secures the three-point lead. Let's it go from deep, and carries it from deep! Oh, a tremendous three! We're tied! And so it's Michael Malone here calling timeout. There is a lot on the line, and he is determined to make sure everyone's on the same page. We've got more in store for you right after this. Set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. Setting the floor for Miami. Russell Westbrook out there with Jackson. Then there's James. And it's Chamberlain in at the center position. Now here's Miller. Back to ball. Releases. The shot won't fall. Jackson outside, driving inside, and he buries it. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. And it's Charles Lee calling timeout here. The pressure is on, and he's got a plan to share with his guys. That's wrong. Pointer Bridges. Chamberlain pulls it in. This James on the wing. Guarded by Miller. Here's Robinson. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to be on Miles Bridges. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. He's off on the free throw, unable to get the second one to drop. Hey, the whole arena and anybody else watching knows they need a three to force another overtime. 
Man, where is the effort on the defensive end? you got to play harder than that. Yeah, you know, it's made for a fun game, but you're right. You're exactly right. I mean, the defense has been non-existent. Good on the first, and that'll put him up two. And so he drops them both, and it's a three-point game. And we've got a timeout call by Charles Lee. And Coach didn't want to take any chances in this situation, which is why he called the T.O. Let's hear from our analyst. Give us your take on the strategy being discussed right now. If they leave the mark open, take it. But it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. Either way, they got to score the ball. Here's Charlotte now. Bridges, a screen on Westbrook. There's ball with a three. Misses the three. Stolen by Miller. Pass the ball. Bridges outside. There's the three. Oh, bangs home the three. Oh, an enormous three-pointer. And timeout is called by Michael Malone. Critical moment here. He's not taking any chances. Here's Jackson. And it goes! It's a big shot at the buzzer! Wins the game with nothing but zeros on the clock. Unbelievable. Woo. He knew it was good when it left his hand. He started celebrating as soon as it got off his fingertips. And so Miami takes the win. They escape with the W, even though they needed a few extra minutes to pull it off. And both teams gave their all. But when it came down to overtime, it was about who had more determination. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. And time now to present our player of the game.